So I spent the last 30 days or so testing and tinkering with one of the most fun side hustles I think I've ever played with. And the best part is I've made money, I've had fun, and I've actually set up a passive income stream and I've done it with very little work. So in this video, I wanna show you step-by-step step exactly what it is that I figured out, what it is that I'm doing, so that you can start doing this exact same thing, making coloring books and selling them on Amazon just using AIR Generator. You can see here, this is the very first one I made, the very first attempt I ever had at this. Pretty good coloring book, took very little time. You can see lots of pages. My daughter's already colored in a few of them. And this coloring book right here has already started to make me money. Let me show you this on the screen right here. This is a shop doing exactly what I'm gonna show you. The exact same thing as I'm doing with this coloring book. Their shop name is Coloring Book Kim. You can see right there. You can see they've got about 55 titles and you can kind of get a decent idea of what they're selling right here. Very, very similar to what I'm creating. Now we can use a software called BookBolt. Uh, and I will add by the way that this BookBolt is the sponsor of this video. I reached out to them and they were willing to sponsor this video, which is awesome. They're a software that we're gonna use multiple times to be able to figure out this and make this all work. Um, but if we dive into BookBolt, we can type in Coloring Book Kim and it'll give us a little bit of data on what's happening here. You can see right here, she's got um, 39 books that are probably getting sales. And uh, in, in ranking from the best to the worst, you can see the top book is getting about 733 sales a month. Now you can assume with what we're doing based on my numbers and numbers that I've looked at that we're looking at about 50% margin, meaning she's making about $3 off of each of these sales. So if we do the math here, you can see 733 sales a month times $3. We're looking at roughly 2,200 sales or hundred dollars in sales every single month. And she's doing it with just one of these books. You can see she's got 39 other books. This one's doing uh, just a little bit less, you know, 541 sales, but selling for a similar price. Uh, so she's making well into the five figure monthly income business. And all of this is being done passively, right? These coloring books, if you look at them, this was published in 2021. This was published in 2020, 2020. So these are books that were made long ago that she's still making hundreds of sales and thousands of dollars every single month on. And that's the really cool thing about this. You guys know, that's all I love to talk about on my channel. I love to talk about building assets, building up things that you can do a little bit of work once. And in this case, it really is a little bit of work once. And you can create these little assets that, that sit on the internet and bring money for one, two, three, four years every single month after that. Now, I personally have only been doing this for less than 30 days. You can see right here, this is my dashboard. I started uh, about mid-May, started up uploading my first book. I've only uploaded five books at this point. And you can see right here, I'm doing somewhere between zero and four sales every single day. I had a really good chunk in May where I was getting three to four sales every single day. Each of these book nets me um, just a couple bucks, so nothing crazy. But imagine if I got 30, 40, 50 of these books like Coloring Book Kim has, what could come of this? So let's dive in and talk a little bit about how this works. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is how the whole business model works. If you're not familiar, this is gonna use something called print on demand. Now if you're not familiar with what that is, print on demand, been around for about 10 years and essentially what happens is you don't have to put any money into creating a book ahead of time. So what happens is you create a book, you create the whole thing in a digital format. After you've created it in digital format, you will upload it to Amazon, which we'll show you how to do. And what's gonna happen is Amazon is not going to print that book until you get a sale. Now the beauty of that is it means you have to invest almost nothing into this business. It's almost zero risk, but each time you get a sale, Amazon will go out, print that book, they're gonna send it to the person that made the purchase, and then they're gonna send you your cut of that purchase. Now as you can imagine, marketers ruin everything, right? So when this this offer and service first launched uh, a couple years ago, what we saw was everyone throwing low, low content books to the point that Amazon got so frustrated, they basically stopped letting you do it for free because there were so many people doing this. We're talking things like planners, journals, things where you throw on a few lines, they're all the same, maybe you add a quote or two, and then you're done. Uh, so many people were doing this because it's easy, right? You don't have to have any creativity whatsoever. You don't have to do any work, really. It's just kind of like a copy and paste thing, and you can throw it out there and hope that it works. But there was a second group of people using this too, and there was much less competition in this category and it's what's called medium content books and that's things like coloring books, activity books, dot to dot books, mazes, all those things pretty much that kids love. Though I will admit there is a big category of adult coloring books as well on Amazon. But this category was way less competitive because it's hard, right? Because up until a few months ago, you can see right here, to, to make a design like this one right here, you had to go hire an illustrator. And if you're gonna hire an illustrator to do 40 images, that's gonna cost you a lot of money even on something like Fiverr. And if you don't get any sales, well, you're out a couple hundred bucks. But all of that changed this year with the advent of two things. AI, AI image generator specifically, and a little software that we're gonna talk about a lot in this video, who is actually our video sponsor, BookBolt. And between those two, we're gonna be able to completely erase all the cost that comes and all the time that comes with making coloring books like this one right here. So first, we're gonna start by researching. Obviously, we need to know what our coloring book needs to be about. And typically with these coloring and these activity books, we want to be in a place where there's less competition, right? The less competition, the more chance that we have of overtaking some of those top search spots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to BookBolt. We're gonna leave a link down below 
below to BookBolt. It is an extremely affordable software. I tried this a year ago without using BookBolt and AI, and I gave up very quickly because it's much harder. BookBolt is awesome and incredible at what it does. It's specifically to make your life so easy when you're doing this. So we're gonna hop in right here and we're gonna go to keywords, okay? So when you log into BookBolt, it might not take you here. So you're gonna go to research on the top left. You're gonna go to keywords right there and you're gonna go to search, okay? Next, you're gonna type in keywords depending on the type of book you wanna do. So if you wanna do an activity book, you'll type in activity book. Mazes, you'll do mazes, right? Coloring book, coloring book, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna type in coloring book right here. We'll type in search and you'll wait just 10 seconds and it's gonna give you a bunch of different information about different options in the coloring book space. Now, what we're looking for, as you can see in this column right here, we're going to look for high numbers in this column. That means it's selling a lot. There's a lot of coloring books selling in that category. Then we're going to look for something that's low in the competition category. Okay, we want things that have a lot of sales, but not a lot of competition. And it's an added bonus if it's got a Google value right here, meaning that there's also people searching Google for that as well, where you might show up uh, with your Amazon listing. So you can sort two different ways. I can go like this and sort just by that one, or I can go like this and sort just by that one. We'll start with this one right here, okay? And we'll click and we'll start scrolling down. And what I'm looking for is in this right column, I'm looking for medium or low competition. So you can see right here, coloring books color, coloring books A. Obviously that's not very helpful, so we can just keep on scrolling. We're gonna scroll down to we get to about the 5,000s. So that's where you'll start to see some, some cool opportunities here, right? All right, so you can see right here, color animals coloring book. Okay, that's only a medium competition. Happy color coloring book. We'd have to go look on Amazon and see exactly what they're looking for there because I'm honestly not sure what that means, but you can see it's less competitive and it's got some people actually looking on Google for it as well, so it's a legit search term. Now we can do the same thing with activity book, mazes, any of those other kinds of books, dot to dot books, all those things that you can see selling on Amazon. We do the same thing. We sort by Amazon seller value right here and we start to scroll down and see if we can find any uh, activity books that don't have a ton of competition. So you can see right here, we've got dogs activity book, brain activity book, Egypt activity book, Easter activity book, and each of these is high enough. I'd say anything above about 2,500, you're fine to go for that we're able to go for it. Now, if it says high over here, you may, you probably don't wanna go for it. So you're kind of scrolling, no data, you're okay to go for it or look a little deeper and uh, low and medium, you're okay to go for it as well. So something I probably would go for based on what I'm seeing here is autumn activity book, right? We're talking fall leaves, probably need to do a little bit of research and figure out what else could go in an autumn activity book, but there's an absolute opportunity right here. Now, the second thing you, you look for for opportunities is you take, take the category like coloring book and you type in coloring book. And then I do this a lot with YouTube. I do this with Google. This is one of my favorite hacks in pretty much every search engine ever. And you start typing in letters. Okay, so I'm gonna type in A, B, C, D, E. And you can see it's giving me all these different options here, right? Now I'm gonna click into one that kind of catches my eye. And what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna look at this number right here, one of 16 um, with the number of results, okay? Now, ideally we're going for less than a thousand. I think you're okay if you've got less than two or 3,000. But the ideal thing is if you can find something that's got less than a thousand and when you scroll down, you're seeing that they are actually getting sales. So some of those top ranking products are actually getting sales. Now this one's got 6,000 and I would say the sale count is a little low. I'm looking for something like over a hundred or over a thousand is ideal with some of these best, you know, these um, top selling books. So I'd keep going, but you can see I can do that. And then I can do the same thing before. So I can say A space coloring book, right? And then I go over back to this A and um, watch what I'll do. I'll type in A, B, C, and I'm gonna get all these different ideas. It's a little different with Amazon than other ones, but you can see it's giving me tons of different ideas that I could potentially run with. Now, this is some super important advice that you need to understand. We want to look for the deepest niches we can find. We could do a coloring book, right? That's the broadest thing in the world, just a general coloring book. We're gonna be competing with everyone in that category. We're competing with like 200 million people making coloring books. So let's say we go one step deeper and we say, I'm gonna go with animal coloring books, right? Now we've eliminated a lot of the other coloring books because we're no longer competing with them. But then we can go another step deeper and we can say, I'm going to do dogs, right? I'm gonna do dogs coloring books. Now we've gotten even deeper. We've eliminated all the other animal coloring book people from our competition. And then we can go one step deeper even. We can go to puppies, right? Puppy dogs and just cute little puppies. That's a whole nother layer. And I went down four layers and eliminated a vast majority of my competition. And you can see right here on the screen, just to show you my point, one of 48, there's only 2000 results total for a puppy coloring book. And when I look down, we've got people in the organic rankings making 400 sales, 900 sales, 100 sales. So this is a great keyword. I'm probably gonna make a puppy coloring book. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna make a puppy coloring book as soon as I finish this tutorial. And when you go to watch this video, mine will probably be online, cross fingers. Anyway, some other coloring book ideas that I ran into as I was going through this was diversity coloring books, military coloring books, castle coloring books, space coloring books. All those things came up between book bolt research Research and Amazon research. Next, we need to use an AI image generator that most people are familiar with at this point, and that's called Mid Journey. Now, the deal with AI in general right now is AI is extremely powerful, but only in the hands of capable people that understand how to get AI 
to do what they want it to do. For example, if I just told it this engine right here to make me a coloring book puppy, I'm gonna get something like this. Obviously that's cute. Oh, it's so cute. But that's not going to help me in a coloring book where I want the actual kid to color it. Plus it threw in some colored pencils. I don't want colored pencils in any of my images. So I'm gonna show you the prompts right here on the screen real quick, but then I'm also gonna leave them down in the comment section in the description of this video. If you head down there, you might as well click the like button and leave a comment. You're already in the section anyway. But anyway, let's uh, let's dive in and kind of show you what you're gonna type in to make this work. So the first thing you've gotta do is you're gonna have to sign up for a discord.com account and a Midjourney account. Now, Midjourney is gonna link to Discord and you're gonna end up in a room just like this. You can go watch a whole Discord tutorial or a whole Midjourney tutorial if you'd like to kind of learn a little bit more about this. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to one of these newbie rooms right here since we're all newbies. We're gonna type in imagine because we're just telling it to imagine something. And then this is the prompt that I'm using for coloring books. You can see here, I'm typing in extremely simple, period cartoon style, period. And then I'm typing in what it is I want it to color at this point. So I could say puppy, I could say dog, let's say dog. I'm gonna type in coloring book, period, black and white. Then you're gonna wanna type in uh, AR23. Now that's just going to give us some better dimensions for a coloring book. Essentially that's saying we don't want a square, we'd rather have something that's a little taller uh, the way a coloring book is actually formatted. We're gonna click enter. Now we're gonna wait about 30 seconds and we're gonna see what it spits out here. Now while we're waiting, I'm gonna show you a few more important things that will help you if you're into mid journey, whether you're doing coloring books or not. We're gonna type in backslash right here and we're gonna type in set and enter, okay? And what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna let us adjust the settings of our entire account. You're gonna wanna go right here and click MJ version five. That's the most recent version of this. So you're gonna get the best images. Next thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna click over here to high quality. Yes, it does cost a little more, um, but I've yet to run into my limit here on mid journey. So you should be fine to get quite a bit of images. Uh, and then everything else you are able to leave the same right there. So from now on, what's gonna happen is you're going to you're going to get these high quality images using the most recent AI version of mid journey. All right, now you can see these are the four images that it spat out. Now this gets even better because you don't have to run with any of these images. I think I am gonna run at that one if I was doing a dog. You can see that's a perfect coloring book dog. Very, very simple. But what you could do is you can say, hey, I like this one. I would like you to make a variation. That's number four right there. So I'd say, hey, make a couple variations of number four because I'm doing a coloring book and I'm gonna want like four pages of four slightly different dogs, right? So I'll say, I like that one. Can you make a bunch of similar ones to that one? And it's going to say, sure. And you'll scroll down and it'll make four. Now, once you've found ones you like, then you need to upscale. All you're gonna do is you're gonna click right here, this U4, that means I like number four. Can you make it bigger? And it's going to say, sure. And it's going to make it bigger. You're gonna scroll right to the bottom here. I know this is a funny software. The, the, the way they built it, you get to sit here and watch everybody else and everything else that they're doing, which is kind of interesting, but also kind of frustrating. But you can see right here, it didn't take that long and it made a large version of this dog that we want to do. You can see I can zoom in. This is a nicely upscaled version that will go great in a coloring book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to save that image as, and it's going to end up in my folder right here. Now, one more thing to add to this tutorial, you may end up with some really intricate designs that maybe are a little blurry as it upscales. It doesn't upscale well because there's so many lines. For example, you can see right here, I was doing this really intense coloring book design for mandala style coloring books and it, it, it kind of came out a little bit blurry when I zoomed in and on the print. No worries, you can actually use AI to upscale or basically take out or add more detail to this as well. You're gonna use a site called upscale.media. Don't worry, we'll leave links to all this down below. You'll upload your image and you can see right here the difference on my image. This was the zoomed in version of the original image and this right here is the zoomed in version of the image after it ran through that. You can see it's significantly better. It prints significantly better. All the lines are much more crisp and uh, it takes almost no time at all to upscale those. Now it's time to create the book and this is where I loved BookBolt. Last year I tried to uh, get into this, this side hustle right here and I was just trying to use like Word docs and things like that and it was so frustrating. I would upload to Amazon and it would give me all these error messages and I couldn't figure out why and you know, Word docs aren't formatted for Amazon. So anyway, after two or three hours, I just quit and gave up and stopped doing it. BookBolt makes the creation process so much easier. And like I said, I reached out and they were willing to sponsor this video, which is awesome. And we'll kind of show you why they're so great for this stuff. So we're gonna go here to where it says research and we're actually just going to click create and we're gonna open the BookBolt studio. Now this is where the, the beauty of BookBolt is because you can see here, I've already got a coloring book right here, but we're just gonna go to project. We're gonna go to new project. We're gonna call it, let's say dogs. So the nice thing about BookBolt is you can see right here, these are all the sizes that Amazon lets you do books in. So you can pick whatever book size you want. I think we're gonna go with just a traditional 8.5 times 11, times 11 right here. And then once again, these, this is all built around the same options you're gonna get when you're actually going to try and sell on Amazon. So we're gonna go with black and white interior with white paper, click bleed. We're gonna do 30 for ours. I think the minimum page count on Amazon is 24, but a little going a little bit above and beyond never hurts, right? Especially when it's this easy. All right, and to create the coloring book is literally as easy as we go to page one right here. We click here to upload our image and we'll upload our new image of a dog right here. Now the beauty is 
where we start to get into the activity books and kind of the more complicated stuff. You can see I can click on this and it's gonna add the dog right there, it's perfect. Now you can start doing other things as well. You can start adding mazes, you can start adding dot to dot. So this won't be a full tutorial on all that, but you can see there's all kinds of different options to turn this into some kind of fun activity book where you can do a puppy and then a maze or the puppy, you know, get the puppy through the maze, that kind of stuff. I can click here and I can turn it into a dot to dot. You can see I can choose uh, maybe a, a, a dot size, a small dot size a small font size, and then all I'd have to do is literally just go like this, and you can see it's adding the dots for this dog right here. Very, very easy to do. I could go around the entire thing. I could click Submit, and you can see right there, uh, obviously it removed most of the dog, but now I've got a dot to dot here that took me all of 30 seconds to make. So this is why I've loved this one, is like the sky's the limit. I'm making all kinds of fun coloring books that kids will actually enjoy. I'm enjoying it, everyone's having fun, and it's providing a, a real value, like it's a real service, right? Kids are actually using these coloring books and you, you can have fun making fun things for kids to color. Once you've created your coloring book, you can see this is one I did with a Celtic Mandela style. You can see beautiful coloring book, especially for adults that are trying to kind of go more into that intricate, you know, spend a lot of time coloring, very good looking coloring book, you're gonna wanna make the cover. Now again, Book Bolt shines right here, you can see right here, uh, it's got a cover page already ready for you to start working with. So to come up with cover ideas, all I did was go one vertical over. So let's say I'm doing puppy dogs, right? Then I'm gonna do cat's coloring book, right? And I'm gonna go look and see what some of the designs are for the cat coloring book. And I'm gonna try to do something kind of similar to some of these. All right, so once again, we're just gonna be using our Mid Journey bot for this. Now, there's not, I haven't found a specific prompt that works best for this, but it's not a big deal because it's just the cover of the coloring book, so you don't need it to be colorable, right? So I typically type in something simple like cartoon style, cat coloring book. Uh, you type in something simple like that, you might have to change up a few things depending on what it spits out. All right, and you can see right here, it spat out, it actually spat out decent actual coloring books without uh, the color. Uh, so then you'll wanna tweak something, right? We're just speaking to an AI here, so we might tweak it a little bit and say cartoon style cat coloring book and add the words colorful to the middle of there. But essentially, we're gonna do this three or four times. You'll come up with something, some nice design that you want in your cover. You might be happy with this design right here. That's not very colorful, so I would wait until you got a nice colorful option to catch people's eye as they're scrolling across those search results. So you can see right here, I just ended up um, taking an idea from another coloring book that I saw and using a background of a non-colored version of what I'm doing and then a foreground of a already colored version of what I'm doing. Both of those just completely made by, by AI. And then all I had to do was look in uh, Google and you can find free PNGs of things like this, coloring pencils, things like that. Right here, you can go in and add the text. So all I did was I clicked, I added a header text right there. You can see I chose header went through a, a few fonts that I liked, and this is what I came up with right here. I think it's a pretty good, not perfect, but a pretty decent coloring book cover. Now, same thing on the back, you can add, I added a little logo, my company logo, a little, um, it says a Build-A-Purdue product, my company name, right? And then you can add a little disclaimer right here. Not a big deal what goes on the back cover. But now you can see we've got this awesome coloring book all made by AI. Took a grand total, if you were typing the entire time, of probably about 15 to 20 minutes to make, and then another 10 minutes or so to build it all inside of BookBolt. And real quick, we're obviously filming as we go here, but you can see right here, these are some pretty fun coloring book covers that we may end up running with for our coloring book right here. I, I probably would do something like this or this right here, but uh, each person has their own preference and kind of depends on what you're running with here. Next thing you wanna do is you're actually going to just download and upload to Amazon. This is, again, where BookBolt shines because it's all already formatted and ready to go for you. So I'm gonna click the download button right here. I'm gonna click download. We're gonna to wanna to use the printed book option right here. So we'll click download as a printed book and it's gonna get it all ready and throw it out for you. Now, if you haven't already, you're gonna to need to go to kdp.amazon.com and you're gonna to need to sign up for an Amazon KDP account. It'll work directly with your current Amazon account if you already have one of those. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna sign up for this Amazon KDP account and then we're gonna click on create right here. It's gonna give you a bunch of options. We're gonna run with paperback. Obviously, coloring books tend to be paperback and we're gonna work our way down all these options. Uh, language is English. The book title, now it does say that you need to enter the title directly as it appears on your book. So what I've been doing is putting in the main title right here, which is, you know, Mandala style Celtic coloring book. Then I'm putting a, a subtitle. I'm trying to put keywords in my subtitle. So things like adult coloring book for stress relief might be something that I put in my title right there um, because those are other keywords that I ran across as I was doing all of the different research. Now heading on down, you can put in an author. They do allow pen names, so I could put in, you know, 
Johnny Depp if I wanted, or I guess that's not a pen name, but we'll just put in my name because who doesn't love to have their name sitting on the front of a book as an author. Next, you're gonna add a description, and this is just what shows up right here on an Amazon page. You can see uh, it's got kind of the title and then a little bit of information from Amazon and then the description right there. You will wanna put some keywords in there uh, based on what you're trying to rank for. So if I'm doing a puppy dog, a mandala style coloring book, then I would throw in all of that stuff. And if I'm doing you know, what I'm doing, I'd put in Celtic, whatever it is. But you'll wanna do a couple paragraphs and then just a couple of bullet points explaining, you can see here, the format, anything that you think that people might wanna know. Easiest way to know that is just to head to another coloring book and see what it is that they're putting in their description. Now, publishing rights, typically you'll say, I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights. Now, there are, there are lawsuits, there's things going on right now where some people are saying that you don't own, it's a public domain. If AI made it, you can kind of choose which one of these you want to run with, but it essentially decides if someone can copy your book. I'm not super worried if I say it's public domain, someone goes and copies my book and does something similar, that's fine. They could have done the same thing with AI quickly as well. Next, you're gonna put in seven keywords. Again, this is like, what do you want to rank for, right? Do you wanna rank for puppy, dog, mandala style coloring books? Well then put that as one of your keywords. You definitely don't want to underutilize the options here where Amazon's letting you put in keywords that you wanna show up on Amazon for. Now things get a little weird when you type in categories. So you can see it says choose categories and it's gonna give you categories that make absolutely no sense. And here's a little trick that I learned. I showed you in my previous video about this as well, but uh, these categories make no sense. And you're like, if I put in this category, I'm never gonna show up. Um, so for example, like, is it fiction, nonfiction, juvenile fiction, juvenile nonfiction, comics, maybe it's a comic, but then you go into the comics and it's like, well, my coloring book does not fit into any of these at all. But I don't wanna just click non-classifiable, right? So you're kind of in this pickle. Amazon essentially for when you're uploading your book, they've got a different set of categories that then is actually the categories on amazon.com, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm gonna show you uh, in a minute here how you can actually upload your book and then you're going to email support. So you're gonna email uh, the, the KDP support and you're gonna say, I don't like these two lame categories that you put me in. You know, I, didn't, I don't really love being in superheroes and science fiction fiction, for example, can you put me, uh, add these seven categories? And they'll actually go ahead and add those categories for you. And you can choose things like animal coloring book is a category, right? That's way better. Or, or kids coloring book. That's way better than these other categories we see right here. So we're just gonna select two, the closest you can come. I've done it different on all of them because it, none of them really make sense for what we're doing. It's gonna ask if it's a low content book, which it's not. This is considered a medium content book. And that's why we're doing this, right? We kind of talked about that a little bit at the beginning. And then uh, we're gonna obviously say it doesn't contain adult content unless you're doing some crazy coloring book. Now here's where things get a little bit strange as well. It's gonna ask you next to assign a free ISBN. That's like a number that just identifies the book online. Now you, with low content books, they will not give you a free one, but because we've chosen a mid or a medium content book, we're actually able to just click assign me a free KDP ISBN and it's going to assign you a free ISBN for your book, which means this won't cost you anything to do. Publication date, I always just select today unless you did it on a different date. Now you can see here, this matches up with what we were doing earlier. So we're gonna choose black and white interior with white paper. We're gonna choose our size. We actually went with a different size, if you remember. So we're gonna select a different size and we're gonna run with the standard size, which was eight and a half times 11. We said no bleed. You can go with matte or glossy. The one I'm showing you right here is matte. It's still kind of a little bit glossy. So I'm, I'm running with matte on all of mine um, because they still have like a fair amount of gloss and they don't look crazy glossy either. All right, and that's where BookBolt actually really shined again for us. If we click upload paperback manuscript right here, you can see BookBolt uh, in the file that it gave us actually gave us two. It gave us a title or a cover page all ready to go, all formatted and ready. And then it gave us an interior. So all I have to do is click on the interior. That's the manuscript of the book, right? It's going to upload that. We'll actually cancel it right now as we move ahead. We're gonna do the same thing with the cover. We're gonna upload our own cover because we created it inside of BookBolt. We'll click upload our cover right there and you can see once again, we just upload that as well. Finally, all you're gonna do is you're gonna click launch previewer and it's gonna actually let you preview your book. Now I will say I ran into a couple issues with this and uh, typically what you're gonna run into issues with is if it tries to preview the book and it finds stuff that's outside of where it thinks it should be printing. For example, on my last book, I uploaded and I got this error message. If your book has errors, it won't meet the quality standards. And then it's gonna give you all the pages that have errors. So you can see mine was on page 30. Now a vast majority of the time, all it's saying is, hey, we're seeing either really low quality stuff or we're seeing stuff kind of outside these green line margins that we're uh, seeing inside a book bowl. So what you're gonna wanna do uh, is you're just gonna wanna crop any images and make sure they land inside of that green. So a lot of times the images that you pull out of AI might have like a white border around them that goes 
all the way around to here or something. And so you'll just click into the image right there on the page that it says is offensive. You'll click crop, and then we'll just wanna crop it all the way down so that it stays inside the green of whatever the image is. So you'll just kind of scroll through the whole book, make sure everything looks good, looks like a book should. And you can see I'm pretty happy with this one that we've done right here. So I'm gonna click approve and we're gonna move forward with publishing the book. Now the next page is where we actually choose pricing and things like that. It'll tell you right before you get to this page, it'll flash a price on the screen. So for me, it's about $2.15 to print this. Not a bad price for everything. So you can see it's gonna post in all these different places, amazon.com, UK, France, uh, US. And so uh, you can see right here, it's gonna tell you essentially how much you're going to make. This is the royalty rate you'll earn for Amazon US. So if I put in $6, right, which is about what most of these coloring books are selling for, I'm gonna sell for $6. It's gonna cost $2.15 to print, I'm gonna get a royalty after printing and shipping and everything of $1.45 per book. Now you can say, hey, that's not very much money, but what we're going for here is 30, 40, 50, 60 books all sitting there getting a couple of sales every single week. Moving forward, we continue to grow and expand off of each month and we're able to build up this big arsenal or asset base of books that all are generating sales. And every once in a while you hit a home run, you get something that's ranking and actually getting hundreds of sales every single month. And obviously that's hundreds or thousands of dollars off of that one single coloring book. And the last thing is you're gonna wanna click request proof down here because then you'll get something just like this that you can put on a bookshelf and save forever, let your kids color in it, something for your posterity. So click request proof and for just a couple bucks, they'll send you a copy of your book and then you're gonna click publish. Now what's gonna happen after you click publish is it's going to wait two days or so to actually go live. Now this is really important, so don't leave. We told you that you're in the wrong category category here, right? We, we assigned it categories based on Amazon categories and they're not great categories. So to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the help page up here in our KDP account. We're gonna go all the way down here and we're gonna click contact us. Okay, and it's gonna give you all these different things you can contact them about. I don't know why they're doing it this way, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Amazon store and product page. We're gonna update our categories and we're actually gonna need to reach out to support and tell them the categories that we really want. So it's gonna give you how to format it. Okay, so it tells you exactly how to format. Make sure you do it the way that they tell you to format it. So what we're gonna need to do to find the categories that our book actually makes sense in is we're gonna to go to coloring books. And let's say we just type in puppies, right? Puppy coloring book. We're just trying to find some categories that make more sense. So we're gonna find some that's selling a lot like cute dogs right here. And we're gonna actually see what categories this book is landing in. And lo and behold, when we scroll down, we look at the product details. Look, there's some more categories that it never gave us the option for like children's coloring books. So this is gonna give you an advantage over everybody else that doesn't know that you can email support and actually get into these categories. So we're gonna to go to children's coloring books right here. And you can see it's gonna show you on the left all these different options. We can put it in activity books, we can put it in uh, coloring books, we can put it in dot dot books, maze books, hidden picture books. So we can do a lot more by doing a little bit of research and then finding these categories. And then all we've got to do is go into this in our seller account. We're going to use this exact format that it says where we get the ASIN number or the ISBN number. We use this example right here where we tell it the exact category that we want. And it's going to give you the exact breakdown. You can see this is coloring books inside of activity books, inside of activities crafts, which is inside of children's books, which is inside of books, which is inside of any department. So it's giving you uh, this right here, okay? What you're looking at right there. And so you're just gonna put each of those things we just mentioned right there. And all you're gonna do here is you're gonna go tell them all the categories that you'd like this to be added to. You'll send the message and within a day or two, they're gonna respond and let you know that they've added it. And that's when I started to actually see my sales come in is once I started doing this with the books where I actually got my books categorized appropriately. Again, quick plug, we'll leave a link down below for our video sponsor, which is BookBolt. BookBolt has everything you need to research to find opportunities that no one else is finding inside of this coloring book or just general Amazon author space. And BookBolt has everything you need to create awesome coloring books, activity books, anything that you want directly inside of BookBolt simply, and then completely cut out the complication of the upload process so that you or anyone on your team can do the same thing. Now, if you'd like to go watch the video of me trying the side hustle for the first time, we'll leave a link down below to that as well. You can watch me learn this process the same way that you would learn this process. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know in the comments down below the next hustle you want me to try.